So, this is a bit of bonus content for you. We've just heard from Molly and Martha talking about type 1 diabetes and we thought it would be useful to get to know them a little bit more. So, you've probably heard the conversations we had with Brittany um, asking her a certain set of questions that we also answered as well. So, Molly and Martha, we're going to ask you the same. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Michelle, go for number one. Richest person in your phone book. Oh. Oh. um, Patrick. My brother. Yeah, maybe that's <laughs> <laughs> Footballer. Is that the footballer? Yeah, yeah but he's scaffolded just, a footballer. Yeah, maybe. Prob- that's a good shout, actually. Yeah. Probably Patrick. Scaffold has earned a lot of money. Yeah. Probably him. I think Patrick. Hmm. That's a good one, Martha. <laughs> that was a quick answer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we, were around, we were just seeing that. Mm, can we say him? Or? Maybe him. Yeah. Not that, like, he treats not, us. Yeah, not that we know about that. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. <coughs> Who's the most, who has the most potential that you know? Hmm. Oh, yeah, you, you don't even know the answers that me and Kavan did as well. No, so I don't. You can't no. copy them. Kavan copy mine. Potential just like in life. Yeah. yeah. And you can define potential however you want, by the way. Okay. It could be academic, it could be financial, okay. it could be emotional. Work, everything. Oh. Oh, I don't one. know. Did you find it a hard question to answer? Yeah, yeah. it was challenging. I mean, I had to go down a, a fairly um, rational route in the end. What route did you go down? I just went academia. Like who's gonna? Who's probably gonna have the most high paid job? Success. Oh, okay. Yeah, which I, I don't think is a great measure of potential, but nevertheless, here we are. Sorry to the guys I mentioned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can we find out who your yeah? So I, was, I chose uh, my younger brother and my younger sister, um, who are studying to be dentists. So oh wow, do okay. the math. Big jobs. Oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll soon be um, rich my people dentist. in the phone book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> strategy. Yeah. Who was yours, Michelle? Okay, I said me. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love like that. Yeah, I, I like I, it. I, Eagle. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I like that. The way I thought about it, I can't really tell what someone can do, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. The only person I really know is myself. What oh, I, I could like do. that. Yeah. I think that's a good answer. Yeah, don't try and take it. Don't try and take it. <laughs> no, my ego's not that big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Big up the self love rush, yeah? Oh, yeah? oh, I don't know. I feel mean if I just choose I one was person. thinking Isabel. Okay, yeah, Why? our sister, younger sister, because she is really clever. She's in life. really clever. She's just moved to uni. She's gone to uni in September. Well, you're your sister. Yeah, she's gone to Aberdeen in Scotland. Choo! Yeah, like yeah, far. the furthest Big up Aberdeen. possible place to go from us. You guys really must have bullied her, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she wanted to get away from yeah. us. I, well, Do you remember Izzy? From sort of, Pace, yeah, yeah, but I feel like she was just yeah. yeah. No, she's I know. Oh, we're old, man. I oh, know, I know. Oh, man. I feel, I feel Isabel, because she's very determined. Yes, yeah, she is. Like, Once she's got something in her head, that could be anything. Could be academic, could be, I don't know. She just was not faced to move into, anything. like, Aberdeen. Like, the yeah. furthest place. Well, not the furthest place, but... Or the first place on the list. Ah, bird. Oh, oh, maybe. So maybe. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gets away from there, <laughs> one. Yeah, I think, I think maybe her. Because she, she knew she wanted to move far away she did it she loves it she loves uni she loves what she's doing yeah she doesn't just say it she actually yeah what she does it history and law so she's clever yeah oh yeah she's gonna be rachel zane from suits oh i don't know but that reminds me of someone from kc in sixth form um let's not name names oh okay sorry is is it gonna be offensive or not no 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 roll with it roll with it roll with it um I can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> it's offensive. It's offensive. <laughs> I'll Sorry, tell you later. Guy. I'll okay, tell you cool. after because I might have to describe the person. Mm. Maybe so, I really want to know now. I want to yeah. pause it. <laughs> yeah. I want to pause it. Come on, pause it. Most potential. Most potential. Oh, I don't know. Um, a friend. <clears throat> Do you know who I'm with? Exactly. Me. Do you know who That's actually came point. to mind? Like first of all, when you said it, Go Becca on. Malone. Okay. Oh. Because she's. Like Isabel, she's so determined and she just, what like what she wants, she'll go and make sure that she gets it in a really sort of positive, yeah. Um, I just think she's so positive and like she's obviously done her nails and she just really, do you know what I mean, Martha? Yeah. She's just going to go far. Can I be, can I be clear? Um, with Becca, Molly said she's just done her nails. I don't know. <laughs> I want to be clear. just chilling doing her nails. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, like, on the I side. I thought the same like, thing, Kevin. I just didn't know what to say. I want to be clear. 
She does people's nails for money. <laughs> That's a yeah. side hustle. She's got as like own. on the, uh, as a side yes. hustle. Yes, sorry, yeah, I probably yeah, haven't yeah. explained it. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's just done nails. She done her nails. I was gonna say. Molly, I got my car washed today. She's put me on the list as well. Most potential, but do you see what I mean? Yeah, like she's really determined, one. and she's that's she's a side hustle, well, and yeah. yeah. Well, let's plug it as well. Has she got an Instagram, Becca? Yes. Yeah. Bye, Becca. At bye, Becca. Yeah. At bye, Becca. No, bye, Becca. Bye, Becca. At bye, bye, bye Becca. Becca. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. we'll put it in the notes as well um, yeah, so definitely. check it out if you want to get your nails done or even Nothing if you don't give it a yeah. follow you know yeah um, okay who is the most influential person you know and this to give you a uh, bit of guidance he chose someone that he knows personally I chose an author so, I actually you know, didn't know oh, it's an open question well, okay. I, I sort of did a group of people yeah a group of people okay um, that like influence me or just yeah lots of people like influence lots of people or well for you oh. who's the most influential person for you Take the question how you mm. see it. You go first. Can I say like someone personal? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Maybe I'd say mum. I oh, know she's eye rolling because she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, because I just know like mum like works so hard and like she's done so, like she's just in my yeah. eyes, she's like the best mum. Obviously, like everyone thinks their mum's the best, but yeah, she is. I just think my mum's the best. Some of us are right, some of us are wrong, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right. <laughs> I just think like she's got think, such a yeah. good like work ethic, and she's so selfless. And I don't know. I just think she's like. I just yeah, I think she's like the best. <laughs> <laughs> my mum's the really. best. Yeah, my mum's the best. That's it. <laughs> Over to you, Martha. Um, do you know who I thought of? Who? Angel. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, my friend, she does PT and she does her own... She's, like, works for herself, runs her own business. Um, at Angefit on Instagram, guys. Boop, 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 boop. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, probably her. Because yeah. she... I know we keep talking about Isabel and Becca as well. Like, she's completely unfazed by anything. Influential in the way that she's just had a, had an idea and took a, a chance yeah. on herself and did it. And it's, like, yeah. paid off. That's what I meant with by Becca, by the way. That. <laughs> <laughs> well, just just to notice something. Um, first of all, big up Tommy, uh, and, and second of all, um, a lot of girl power right now. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, shout yeah, out yeah, we like that. I'm loving that. Wait, hold on, big up Tommy. That's the mum's name. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, the best mum, actually. Yeah, that's how you know her. Second, second best. Um, <laughs> Maybe she could come on here. She'd love it. Doors always open. Get her on. She can be Dom's um, chaperone. <laughs> well, she, um, she's a teacher. Head teacher, teacher. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, that'd actually, be a good that'd be a good pod, like how COVID affected her school. Oh, Fun fact, okay. actually, this is actually linked to that question around potential. Um, I remember years ago, this is a passing comment. Molly said, "Oh, my mum said you got so much potential," and yeah. that that put a lot of pressure on, right? Genuinely, yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it's, it's it's like this is not a negative, but like, it, I felt a lot of pressure. Like, oh my god, someone thinks I've got potential now. I've got to fulfil it, and <laughs> <laughs> um, so that that's probably why I now do a podcast. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that comment. yeah. Uh, but no, that was a genuine thing. So I, I, that's one of the reasons that we thought we need to ask that question because who do you think has potential in your life? I like your question. Yeah, good. That's good. Couple more to go. Um, Martha, I think you can answer this one really well. Actually, just just from see Martha. now, there's pressure on me. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> that's how it works, right? Um, you are at your best when you are blank. Oh. Hmm. Full. Not hungry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <what's> it? <laughs> that, that's well, what I said. That's what I said. That probably is you, though. So it was a, was that was a good answer. answer. <laughs> that was a good answer. That's what it is. I just feel like, yeah. Maybe so we should answer for, for each other. Oh, okay. Just to be clear, Molly said full um, food wise. So, yeah, just throwing what, out. What, for Martha? Uh, for, for, for Molly, for you. You said full, right? You're at your best when oh, you're full. No, that was for me. That was for Martha. Oh, so you're yeah. at your best when you're yeah. full? Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I just think you get she's going to bash me now. Yeah, no, 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 no. You just do get hungry. You said yeah. no, 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 no. You just do get. Hungry. And now I'm also trying to think as well of the answer that Kavan wanted me to give. <laughs> what did you have an answer in mind? Well, I'll give you my answer. Okay. okay. My answer was I'm at my best when I am aligned and balanced. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, maybe like in a routine as well. Okay. Like, yeah. When I'm know that I'm eat eating right again food related or you know what I mean like that sounds really boring but when you're in a structure in a routine like feeling aligned balance those kind of things as well so anyone listening Martha is not into spontaneity so put the tickets yeah, away yeah basically <laughs> don't just call me up asking me to do something 
Molly, you're your best when you are. Um, I don't know. Not ask this question. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Wait, she's not asking that. Skip. I'm not skip cut on the question. spot. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, probably similar to you. Like in a routine, it's boring. I don't know. Probably. What gives you energy? What What do you do when you finish it? And you don't feel like, oh my god, thank god that's over. What What do you do when you finish it? You're like, you know what? I had a really good day. I feel good about that. It could be the most mundane thing. It could be getting your car washed. It could be. I love having like a really good day at work with the children. What does that mean? Good day. What does that mean? Like, you know. The children are just like, like I don't know, like they're just lovely and they're ju- you're just playing with them and I just love seeing them be so excited about like other things in that to us we don't even look at but they think it's like the most amazing thing. Oh my god, a red crayon! Yeah, do you know what I mean? And I just they're not ready for life. They're not ready for life. I know that sounds really silly and like oh, a bit. No, that's good. Cringe what's, or whatever. Um, but what's your age group? Three and four. Three and four. And like their imagination is just like amazing. And sometimes I think, oh my God, like I feel like, do we lose that or? Oh, I couldn't do that. Man. I don't know. I just, pretending. I don't want that yeah. to sound really like. Oh, that's an amazing oh picture. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't want that to sound like, oh, but. No, that's a, that's a good yeah. answer. I think it's just like fulfilling, isn't it? And you just feel like, oh, that was just really lovely. And they've had fun and yeah. So Molly yeah. is at her best when she is fulfilled spiritually. And Martha is at her best when she is filled physically. <laughs> <laughs> right, last. Yeah. <laughs> Take that as um, you will. Um. <laughs> <laughs> right, last question. I knew what he was doing there. I know. I never knew what he was doing there. <laughs> Come on, guys. My parents listen to this. <laughs> um. <laughs> Stop. One thing you never regret doing, Martha. <laughs> oh. What did you say? Can't remember. I said going to the gym. Oh, that's oh, a good okay, answer. Yeah. Okay. I definitely did not say that. I definitely did that. Boring, but yeah. yeah. Okay, I yeah. Remember. I can't remember what I said. Actually. Brittany said meeting me. Oh. No, no, no. no. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Look at the smirk Listen. on his face now. And I said, Kavan the gym. begged that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she was stuck, and then Kavan goes, oh. <laughs> So you put her under pressure? Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> Well, this is an audio podcast, not a visual one. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the question is not regret. Questions. Sorry, okay. One thing you never regret doing. Never regret. Never regret. Doing. <laughs> never regret. <laughs> regret. regret. <laughs> Maybe where I started work, because I feel like since I started working there, lots changed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good and one. Actually, I've learned a lot about myself. So my biggest regret, uh, I'd have no regrets taking the job that I've got. And the opportunities lots it's taken me to, and the people I've met, yeah. those kind of things. Can I probe you a little bit more on that? Okay. Go so, on was there, was it like a risk taking that job? When I got this job, um, I remember I was coming back. For, I was on a train when I had this random email come through, um, saying, "Oh, we've got this job opportunity for you." Blah blah blah. Um, and mm-hmm. I, I previously left a job that I absolutely hated. Mm-hmm. I felt <clears> that I finished uni and I needed to get into a grown up job that's like in quote marks yeah. thinking I need the nine to five office job whatever yeah. did that absolutely hated it like completely completely not anything I mm-hmm. got on with left that with nothing else to go to and I was trying l- lots of different things I'd just been offered this job in Birmingham but that it was really dodgy and didn't work out and I left <laughs> straight <laughs> away <laughs> <laughs> and I know it actually really it was. was really dodgy scheme. really really <laughs> dodgy and then I was on the train coming back to Northampton and I was thinking oh my gosh like I don't know what I'm gonna do like I had no job and then this random email came through I didn't apply for this job I think they just found my CV on some website and said give us a call we want like to talk to you about this job blah blah, blah. anyway called them got the job everything and then I think from then a lot of like so much has changed, a lot has in changed such a in a really, really good way. And I think I've learned a lot about myself. Not just you, but like around things around you as well. Yeah. What I'm trying to get at as well is, was, what was that that made you make that decision to get that job? And has that tracked, if we look backwards, has yeah. that been a theme throughout your life? Is it the risk taking? Is it the um, getting things wrong and to get things right? You know, um, what is it? Or is it nothing? I think with that job, maybe I was, think, I was thinking of the bigger picture. Mm. Really? Well, okay. So the job that I'm in now, I was always thinking like maybe a step ahead. Okay, if I get oh, there, mm. 
um it's a really good opportunity to maybe go down this route like the people i'll meet i was thinking of a bigger picture to get into that company you might yeah. lead you to other things and other opportunities like, lots of doors could open rather yeah. than just thinking oh okay let's just take it and just seeing it as what it was kind of so when you look at the bigger picture or when you've looked at the bigger picture previously mm-hmm. has that proven to be successful as well just out of interest i don't know mm. what do you think mom i don't i feel like this was like a really big life-changing yeah i feel like we're digging up this job no no but i think <laughs> a lot's changed for you so i, yeah. I can't think of anything that's been on yeah, this bigger scale do you know what i mean have yeah. such a big change I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Molly, one thing you never regret? Um, I would probably say the same as you, maybe gym. The gym? <laughs> yeah, probably. Love that. Yeah. Because I think before you just think, oh my God, I can't be bothered to go. And then when you come back, you just always feel like, oh, Every thank time. God I did Every that. Time, yeah, 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 even yeah. if you just did like the bare minimum, I just think you think, at least I went and did yeah. something. Yeah, it's that consistency, that dedication. Mm. Um, yeah, routine. It's good. You know, you like the routine. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, I think we'll close it there. Yeah. Any, one more question. Go on. What do you see yourself in five years' time? Oh. Oh. Listeners are shocked right now because the show went off script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. You were meant to ask that. No, I'm teasing. Uh, did you answer this yourself? No, this no. Is completely... Oh, okay. Um, I would like to think that I'm maybe living abroad mm-hmm. and, I don't know, just like hopefully really happy, but just live, maybe living abroad, somewhere really sunny. Um, I think that's what I'd like to... Yeah, hopefully be doing. Yeah, yeah. Do that. and I, in a job that I like. I like, I like my job, obviously, but just a job that isn't is good, and I like. And you I don't do. like these kids. No, <laughs> yeah. I do. I do, but just like you know, I don't know. Maybe that's with every job that you just sort of feel like. I don't think you, yeah. you have those days. Do I don't think? think you can actually love a job. I don't know. I, I, personally, I don't think. Maybe just say then happy and living abroad. Just to be clear, Kavan is completely satisfied with his employer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if they listen to this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I was you. Okay, five years. I think similar. I think everyone. You just want to be in a happy place. Mm-hmm. But I would really like to be more on a career path that I'd would want to get into. So find a job. That, Your own business. Oh, watch this space. I think um, you'd be good. Yeah, kind of be on a bit more of a path of a job. Like we're saying, I really like my job and it's opened up a lot of, of opportunities for me, but yeah. I'd like to kind of have a next step with something. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'd really like to be there in five years. I'd love to move out. Sorry, Tom and Dom. Love you, but <laughs> I'd love that. Yeah. Aww. But be happy and just be around happy, healthy people as well, I think. What about you two? I shall go for it. I want to be qualified. So I've got a few exams left, so I need to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I just... Yeah, same question. Happy. I want to work mm. less. Yeah. So hopefully this pod blows up. <laughs> <laughs> please, um, yeah. while we're there, actually, if you're enjoying this podcast, please don't forget to give it a five star rating wherever you're listening to it. Um, subscribe to the podcast, leave some positive reviews, and share it with your friends. It really helps us out. Sorry, Rochelle, go on. Yeah, so I just want to, I think, work less, mm. hopefully happier, and just chill. I just yeah, want to chill. I, I mean. just yeah. chill. Like, Can you I, like your job, but I you th- just want to. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah work less. But who really <laughs> wants to work in Viria? Yeah. Oh, I just want to have fun mm-hmm. and chill. Girls, just... <laughs> 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 uh, how can, about yourself, Gavad? Can I just challenge you on that, though? Like, oh, okay, let me... Oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. There's always a... Uh, you, said, you said be happier. <laughs> Bro, <clears throat> what about today, man? You know what I mean? Well, what can you do today to get you closer to that thing in five years that you want? Because why are you waiting for five years? In five years, you might have a child right and then it's like well it's not about me that's about the child then you're you're, you're putting your, your happiness back but until that child's grown up and flee the nest See, flee the nest sorry. I didn't deep it like that yeah yeah I'll leave that thought just pondering in the air okay. where do I want to be in five years I actually don't know man I really don't know um, look I think it can change so much can't it, it? Can yeah. yeah I want to be on substantially more money I think doing this full Goals. time or yeah i'd love to have oh, i'd love to have conversations that'd be good oh, for a more significant chunk of my life having these sorts of conversations learning more and get to know people a bit more that's mm. that's really important for me i think um over the next five years i'd like a i mean a continued st- stable relationship i have one now it's fine uh, oh no that sounds really bad that's not <laughs> right. that's what I, mean. I mean like <laughs> I'm, I'm cutting that out that's <laughs> you're I'm not cutting that. i think you're too <laughs> I'm cutting no, that out. I'm completely cutting that out. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm going to start my answer really again. No, you can't. That's, you have to keep that. I mean to like, what I meant to say was the same relationship, but yeah. <laughs> same relationship, with a different person. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're just digging a deeper hole. I meant like <laughs> growth within the next five years, but the same person is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, right. Grow oh. together. Yeah. Maybe I had three hours sleep last night. <laughs> All right, let me ask my question again. <clears throat> Love you, Brittany. Yeah. Well, someone does. <laughs> <laughs> She's always here, remember? <laughs> I can barely see her. Fuck <laughs> like. okay, yeah, now. Yeah, you gotta cut this bit. This would be a nice, a nice blooper somewhere, mate. Yeah, yeah, let me drink some, hide it. Let me, let me drink it. some water. That's not what I meant to say, man. <laughs> see, he tried to get us with his deep yeah, little questions yeah, and exactly. that. And he fumbled, he fumbled the bag. <laughs> I know he's ha- he's hating himself inside as well. Yeah. Oh man, it's is. going straight in the journal. Um, <laughs> in five years, mate. Three, two, one. Right. So I think for me, in the next five years, um, it's an interesting one. I'd definitely like to be on substantially more money. Um, I'd like to have a couple properties under my belt. Come on. Um, mm-hmm. I'd like to explore. So by then, I think. My siblings would have finished their dentistry degree ish. So I'd like to see where they're at and see if I can jump in on any opportunities with them. Um, these conversations are something I'd definitely like to increase in my life. Um, and obviously, just continuing a strong and stable relationship would be really, really great as well. You know, having that companion throughout life would be amazing and seeing where that leads in terms of having a property together or Aww. children. I mean, in the next five years, I'm what, 29? So. I mean, I'd like a child, I think. We're 30. Oh. Yeah. Rochelle, stop it. Yeah. Oh, I, did, I had an original plan to have three kids by 26 and 25. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. That's plan. not going to happen. Um, well, it might happen. Who knows? Like, anyway, but, um, <laughs> We're on the hunt for yeah. the, the name. I wanted them to have... We, Kavan and I have... A, a race, yeah. A race. Because what, we do you both, both like the same name? The same name. Yeah, Atticus. It, I was going to say, is it I've said it first, so actually. I no. said it publicly. And I'm going to like a hero, like a superhero. It's exactly. Such a strong name. And zero, but anyway, I'll leave that one there. Yeah, I was going to um, say zero. You want to name your child zero? Yeah. Yeah. Not me. Not in the um, next five years, so it's irrelevant to this question. I know. Yeah, yeah. Poor child. Zero. <laughs> yeah, but could you imagine the headline from zero to hero? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, just, that just reminds me of an accounting software. It's so sad. Well, oh. in the next five years, I don't know, man. I haven't. I don't really think that far ahead. I just look. Contentment is nice, right? I'd, I'd enjoy that. I'd, I'd enjoy being like physically optimal as well like any injuries any niggles i've got right now i'd like them to be ironed mm. out um yeah i'd like to be in a position where i can afford things like massages and Ooh. spa days and yeah you, know, you can just, afford that man yeah but the ability to be able to afford is willing and able i may be able but i'm not willing yeah <laughs> um so i want to develop that, that ability to be willing yeah. um and yeah You're just, just happy healthy safe and alive man for me and my family that's it mm-hmm. that's, that's, mm-hmm. The, that's the simple answer so yeah Nice little off script moment there. Yeah. And um, yeah, I hope you got to know me and Rachel a little bit more. And <laughs> obviously I hope you got to know Molly and Martha a lot more. Is there anything else you want to say? Uh, I've got nothing, man. Me neither. So without further ado, um, of course, if you want to get in touch with us, it's really important that we, we keep that communication with you guys. So feel free to drop a comment on wherever you're seeing this. But also don't be afraid to email us and ask us, ask us a question. Aki and Saltfish at gmail.com and we'll get back to you. Check out our other podcast too. We've got Cool, Fine, Done, Wicked, which is about music if you're interested in that. And we've got um, Sofa Senseis, which is about the fight world. So be sure to check that out. Um, this has been Before Our Friends Die. And I hope you have a great time. It's been lovely. Ooh.